Welcome to Sci Guys. On today's episode, 10 Minute Ice Cream. Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm Adam. Welcome to Sci Guys. On today's episode, we're going to be exploring how adding salt to ice changes its melting point by making 10 minute ice cream. Thanks to YouTube user American Girlfriend 2001 for this suggestion. It's a great day for ice cream. The melting point of a substance is the temperature at which it changes from a solid to a liquid. This temperature can be changed based on the pressure of the surrounding environment or the chemical makeup of the substance. The equipment you can need for this experiment is a bowl to mix your ingredients in, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a thermometer to test the temperature, and one large and one medium zip top freezer bag. And the ingredients were going to have to go to the pantry in the fridge. The ingredients we're going to need from the cupboard are vanilla extract, sugar, and kosher salt. The ingredients we're going to need from the fridge include whipping cream and milk. For the safety equipment today, you're going to have to remember to wear your lab coat and goggles for spills and splashes, but also some warm gloves to protect from the very cold ice water. To start, add one quarter cup of sugar to your mixing bowl. Then, add one half cup of milk. Next, add one half cup of whipping cream. Finally, add one quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Mix all your ingredients together until all the sugar has been dissolved. Pour your mixture into the medium zip top bag. Seal the bag securely and make sure you press out all the air. The next step is to put two cups of ice into a large zip top bag. Use a thermometer to measure and record the temperature of the ice in the large bag. We measured the temperature of our ice at around minus four degrees Celsius. Add one cup of salt or sodium chloride to the large bag of ice. The larger salt crystals you have, the better this will work. After a few moments, record the temperature. We measured the temperature at around minus 14.3 degrees Celsius. Place the sealed medium bag inside the large bag of ice and salt and seal the large bag securely. Hold the large bag by the top seal and gently rock the bag from side to side. Make sure to do this with protective gloves on because the ice will be cold enough to damage your skin. Continue to rock the bag for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, remove the medium bag. Squish the bag to see if it is solid. If it's not completely solid, add another two cups of ice to your large bag, seal the bag, and continue to rock the bag for another five minutes. Once your mixture is solid, transfer your ice cream from the medium bag into a clean bowl and enjoy. So why does adding salt to our ice allow us to make ice cream so quickly? Let's look at this a little closer. First, we need to look at what a melting point is and what happens during melting. The melting point of a substance is the temperature at which the change in state from a solid to a liquid begins. When a substance is in a solid state, its molecules are tightly packed together. When we increase the temperature of a substance, we're adding energy in the form of heat into that substance. Once the amount of energy added to our substance equals the substance's melting point, the molecules with enough energy begin to spread apart and transition from a solid state to a liquid state. If this level of energy is not maintained, and the substance is allowed to cool or lose enough energy equal to its freezing point, it will gradually revert back to a solid state. When we add salt, or sodium chloride, into our ice, it separates into sodium and chloride ions. These additional particles in our mixture disrupt the ability of our ice to freeze. The more salt we add, the more it affects the freezing and melting point of our ice. This change in melting point forces our ice to begin absorbing energy from its surroundings and causing it to melt at a much lower temperature than normal. But where is the ice going to get the energy it needs to melt? Our ice pulls the energy it requires to melt from our cream mixture and the surrounding environment. As our ice gains energy from the warm cream and gradually changes state from the solid to liquid, the cream is losing energy and gradually changing state from a liquid to a solid. Once our cream mixture has lost enough energy, it completes its transition from a liquid to a solid, and you now have tasty ice cream. Well, that was 10 Minute Ice Cream. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe on YouTube and like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this experiment or about science in general, feel free to message us on YouTube or on Facebook and we'll help you out as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Great treat for a lovely spring.
Boring day in Canada. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out, so if you do these experiments at home, record them and submit them to us as a video reply to this video. But remember, always get your parents' permission before you submit any videos to YouTube.